Ah, uh, it is 9.30 and I do not want to wake up right now. Oh, but I'm going to go visit my grandpa today. So, trying to wake myself up right now so I can get in the car and fall back asleep. <laughs> Hi, sweetheart. <laughs> Evie already knows the routine with Bernie. Hi, buddy. Good morning, buddy. Good morning, Evie. You behave. This is my friend. No. Oh my gosh, you are so cute. You're the cutest boy or girl, I don't know. I'm gonna pretend you're a boy for now. Are you ready for some breakfast? Oh yes you are. Oh you got, what is that? A tomato? Evie, you be nice. You're one spoiled rabbit. Waking up to that rabbit has filled my heart with so much joy. I'm getting very attached to that rabbit. I'm not really quite sure what to do about it. Just arrived in New Jersey. Very first stop is the Whole Foods here. It's actually a really good Whole Foods. As much as I would love to take my time and go through every section of the store, I actually did that last time I was here. I need to make this fast. I'm not sure what I want to eat yet. Maybe a salad. All right, got some food. Now I'm on my way to see my grandpa. I heard he's not doing very well today. He's kind of cranky or something, so. Crossing my fingers, it's a good experience, but I'm just so, so grateful that I get to see him. It is warm here today. For this campaign the best, and for the future, mm. which creates a government. I like the name of this place. Hi. Dad. Hi, Grandpa. It's Mark. Hi, Mark. Hi, Grandpa. Oh, you guys were traveling. We were traveling. Good to see you. Yeah, good to see you. I brought somebody special. Oh, Hi, oh Grandpa. I, is anybody I know? No. <laughs> Maybe. Do you remember me? I, I wouldn't be. Hi, Grandpa. How are you feeling today? Well, I'm tired. I had a, I had a rough night. Grandpa. I'm so glad that we got to see you. Oh, I'm so glad you came to see me. I love you so much. Okay, I'll see you later.
just arrived at my grandpa's house and I'm, I've, been, I've been looking forward to looking at this bookshelf because he told me that I could take some books. So he's a really big fan of Norman Vincent Peale. My grandfather's name is actually Norman. And I thought he had the power of positive thinking, but he does have all these other ones. I don't know if he actually has that one. I love the way it smells in this house. It's a very comforting, comforting place. It is like 4.30 a.m. I don't know why I'm just someone that really likes to be up late. Maybe one day I will understand, but uh, here I am, partially because my dad and I didn't get home from New Jersey until like a little past 11 p.m. And then I immediately called Kobe to catch up with her and we ended up talking for four hours. And we had talked pretty recently too. She's just one of those people. Two of us can just talk and talk and talk. We always have something to catch up on, things to analyze. We love that woman so much. Um, so anyways, yeah, that led me until about 3 a.m. when I got off the phone with her, and or almost four, whenever that was. Um, and I started editing Saturday's vlog, and here I am, I'm now waiting for the vlog to upload. And um, starting to kind of wind down from the day. It was really, really wonderful visiting my grandpa. Really special. Um, you know, he's not doing the best, but you know, he was alert. He was aware that I was there. We talked, spent hours with him. And I'm just so grateful to have been in his presence. I got a photo with him that I will forever cherish. I also used my DSLR camera and got like all of this footage of him that I'm going to turn into some video at some point. And yeah, just was a very, very meaningful experience. I'm going to go try to see him again, but honestly, I don't know what time holds for my grandfather, so just taking it day by day. This upcoming week is, or actually the next two weeks are very open-ended for me. I just have some projects to work on, but in terms of like other things happening, like I have no idea what I'm going to be doing. <laughs> so I'm really, really looking forward to that. I hope to do lots of reading. I have to do get back to running. I meant to run every day and yesterday, or Saturday and Sunday, I didn't run. So today, Monday, I'm going to, to run um, and stick with it, I hope, because that feels really good. Um, and I want to share a little story with you. When, when I was at the hospice center, my aunt was there too, and she pulled out these photos and told me that she had found them in my grandmother's wallet. Now, my grandmother passed away on Christmas Day 2012, and I was fairly close to my grandma, not, not quite as close as I am to my grandpa, but when they, when she, they're both around, both my grandma and my grandpa, they just kind of felt like one unit. They felt like one person. You know, they, they had their their characteristics, of course, but like, kind of just thought of them as the same person in a way. It was just they had that deep, loving connection and relationship. And I guess like now that my grandma's passed, like I've gotten a lot closer to my grandpa. He feels like more of his own person, but I, I never knew my grandma without my grandpa around. Anyway, so my aunt pulls out these photos and she pulls up this one that I will show you. She told me that my grandma used to carry this around in her wallet and show it off to her friends all the time, especially like at church. Apparently she'd bring this up a lot. And the photo is this photo of me when I met Steven Spielberg, which is like one of the coolest days of my life. And on the back of my grandma's handwriting, it says Whitney and Steven Spielberg, September 2007. September. Same month as this, so that's nine years ago. And it just made me cry because I was thinking about, like, how proud my grandma was of me, you know? And 
this. That moment was so significant for me and I, I do remember my grandma would like mention that to me like I don't know if it was just the like wow my my granddaughter met some famous person or I don't know I don't know what it was but I just like brought back a lot and then my aunt gave me that picture and now I want to carry that around in my wallet to not only remind me of how special that was with Spielberg but also you know my grandma and just like I think carrying that around can remind me that I've done you know I've, I have a good life and when sometimes when people are proud of you it helps you be proud of yourself I guess I don't know um and then there's Bernie the rabbit <laughs> the other thing I did tonight was I created some flyers that I want to go and post tomorrow and, um, you know, I've been reflecting a lot on this whole Bernie situation. I named him Bernie, by the way, because I found him on the corner of a main street and Burnham Road. And I'm just like, I'm always looking for little signs like that, literally signs. <laughs> and so, I don't know, the name Bernie just popped up, plus like he's, he's got white hair like Bernie Sanders. So, I don't know. Anyways, that's his name. And it, I'm pretty sure it's a boy. I tried to look and check tonight. It's a little awkward to check a, a rabbit for their gender, but I'm pretty sure that he, he looks like he's a boy. I'll put it that way. <laughs> um, but you know, the next thing that I want to figure out is like the significance of Bernie. I just feel like there's some symbolism there. Like why did I find this white rabbit? And why haven't we found his owners yet? I don't know, I know it's not, maybe it's just some simple little thing, but I feel so emotionally connected to this rabbit, bonded, I'm so fascinated by him. I wanna spend all this time with him. I just feel like deep love for this rabbit. And like, as I mentioned in yesterday's vlog, I, I feel like there's just like some deep meaning in my trip here. And so I'm just really paying attention to things that are happening here and how I'm feeling and I don't know. I feel like this trip is so much about learning about myself and I just feel so connected to this darn rabbit and I wonder why did he come into my life on that night? I don't know. Time will tell. But if any of you know any, is there any symbolism behind a big white rabbit? Or is it just like Alice in Wonderland? I don't know. <laughs> All right, I really should start to head to bed. I gotta go check to see if this video is done uploading so I can put it up there. It's a little, little on the later side than I would like it to be, so thank you for your patience since the timing of these videos has kind of been all over the place. Uh, I'm just glad to be doing them again. It's been bringing me a lot of joy. I love reading your comments since uh, I'm gonna have so much time this coming week I hope to get back into responding to comments and communicating with you guys more frequently. Can you hear my dogs, one of our dogs snoring? She's a very loud snorer. Do any of you guys snore? I don't believe I snore, which I'm very grateful for. And on that note, I'm going to go get ready for bed. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.